Hey there folks, I've got an incredibly stally battle for you today against Toxic Gas Giants. It's an RU match and he leads off with Dust Noir as I lead off with my Rotom. Uh, I'm predicting him to go for Trick Room based on his team and indeed he does. And so I've tricked him a Choice Scarf which means that now he has to switch out. Uh, he switches into Crustle which is fine by me. Gonna go ahead and Volt Switch on out of there predicting the switch. And I'm gonna go ahead and send in Gargon because, you know, I don't think it's a Shell Smash set because why would you run a Shell Smash set in a Trick Room environment? Um, but, in any case, I can wall this guy for days, uh, Giga Drain's doing a fair amount of damage, uh, he goes ahead and set up, sets up Stealth Rocks this turn, I was expecting him to switch, um, so I just went for the Giga Drain, uh, not the Giga Drain, I'm sorry, the Leech Seed, he goes ahead and, uh, is able to set up another round of, uh, Edry Hazards as I go for another Giga Drain and take him out, the Twisted Dimensions return to normal, and I am happy. He goes ahead and taunts me here, I can't use Leech Seed, so I'm gonna have to switch out, I go into Hatterack, um, and those entry hazards are not going to be good for me, but I predict the Toxic quite well, and now I'm thinking I can probably hit him with a Stone Edge and do a decent chunk of damage. It actually is a decent chunk of damage, but considering that these things almost always run Roost, it's not going to be enough. Furthermore, he carries the Whirlwind, and that's not going to be good for me. Now my maybe, my Audino is Taunt Baited. I obviously know this guy has Taunt, but I just want to see if maybe he'd go for the Roost this, this turn or whatnot. Instead, he does go for the Taunt, and so for prevents me from setting up Toxic. I'm going to go ahead and switch out here into Tachikoma, uh, who does get the Toxic to the face, and that's rather unfortunate, but uh, it's alright. I'm going to be able to Volt Switch out on this next turn. Um, really, I, I mean, that's really the only thing I could have done other than tricking, but tricking would have been pointless because we were both have leftovers at this point. So anyway, now I'm, my opponent goes for another Whirlwind, and out comes Gargon. And, you know, I don't want to, I'm figuring that he's probably going to take his time, um, you know, whirlwinding and stuff, so I'm just going to let him whirlwind and not do the switching. Um, I go for the Hidden Power of Fire, it does nothing. He goes for the Roost, gets up to back, basically back up to full HP. I go for the Giga Drain, it does nothing, um, even though he's on the ground. He goes ahead and talks with me, actually I might be wrong about him being on the ground, I might be faster. Um, but yeah, let's see. Okay, my taunt wears off here, I go ahead and switch out into Hatterack. Um, predicting him to predict one of my moves, and indeed he goes for the taunt, and that's great, because now I can, it's a free switch for me, I can go ahead and go for the Stone Edge and just hope for the crit. Um, he sends out Crocodile, my Stone Edge misses, that sucks, I'm gonna have to switch out. Predicting him to go for Earthquake, so I switch in, uh, Tachikoma, Earthquake, he does select, and that's great because these things are almost always, always scarfed, so, uh, gonna go ahead and Leaf Storm here, it's not gonna do jack, but, thanks to the fact that I've lost my, um, Choice Scarf, I can go ahead and Volt Switch out the next turn, even though it's not going to do anything because I'm at minus two. So it does a little bit too, and it's going to force him to roost after not too long. I'm going to send out Hatterack. He goes for the Taunt, that's okay. I'm um, going to just go ahead and go for the Stone Edge this next turn. He might switch, but that's okay. He switches into Crooked Off, predicting the Stone Edge, that's alright. My hits doesn't really do much because it's resisted. I'm going to switch out and predict him to predict me to go into uh, Rotom, and indeed he does. He goes for the Crunch. Um, and he's locked into Crunch, and it doesn't look like he's going to be able to, to KO. So I stay and go for the Aqua Jet, hoping to KO. Um, instead, he switches out into Cothagrigus, uh, which is probably a bigger threat stall-wise than uh, Dusk Noir, and I kind of wish that I hadn't tricked that Choice Scarf on so early, because Cothagrigus would be a great Pokemon to have a Choice Scarf on, because it would basically be useless. I'm predicting him to go for the Hex here, and so maybe he's going to go ahead and come out, Gonna completely wall this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the heal bell as he goes for the rest, but nothing I can do to him. I mean, I can go for the toxic, but that's about it. He goes for the will o wisp, but you know, that's just to get residual damage off of me. But I've got the heal bell, so again, it's really okay. Gonna go ahead and switch out into Hatterack, uh, just because there's nothing I can do to him, and you know, I know he has the rest. I'm um, gonna be, uh, Hatterack's gonna get that wish and is going to be back to full HP. Um, my opponent's going to switch out into Crocodile as I go for the safe Stealth Rock, and that's going to be nice to just have some entry hazards up against my opponent. I go for the Earthquake here. I actually do a hell of a lot of damage to that Crocodile. He goes for the Crunch, not going to be enough to kill me. I go for the Dragon Tail, just in case he was going to switch out into someone else. I KO, and that is excellent. Out's going to come a Selgore here, and I was like wondering, hmm, I don't actually know what a Selgore does. Turns out they carry the Focus Blast, and that's like, whoa! And that really was not good for me. And my Dragon Tail misses, I'm like, ah! So I'm the two way HP to switch out, and so here I just stay in, his focus blast misses and my stone edge hits, so that's just amazingly balanced hacks, and I'm pretty happy. Um, after use is back out, I'm going to switch out into maybe, um, going to get some damage, uh, blah blah blah, 
and I'm just hoping that the leftovers are enough that I can switch in and steal it one last time. Mandibuzz is going to come out. I'm pretty sure I go for the wish here. Had I only predicted in God were Toxic, that would have been excellent, because it's not like Mandibuzz carries the, um, the rest in addition to Roost. That would just be stupid. Um, so he's going to recover back a lot of HP. Here I go for the Toxic and get him Toxic. So now Mandibuzz is on a timer and I'm going to be able, it's going to die eventually. Um, I love, love maybe. It is such a great Pokemon to have on this stall team. Anyway, I'm predicting the Taunt here and just going to stay in and go for the Protect just to get a turn of, um, just to waste some turns and force him to rack up some more poison damage. Um, I'm staying in. And he's racking up more poison damage. Uh, my, you know, this is this battle is sped up to 300% all thereabouts, and it's still a painful battle to narrate through. It's kind of insane. I would have gone faster, but my uh, my uh, computer actually can't process more than like 90 frames per second. So, oh well. Anyway, maybe he's been dragged out. There was a bunch of switching that go went on. Nothing really too interesting. I think I let, set up a layer of spikes just so that uh, his Pokemon would take some damage. He's gonna go ahead and taunt here. Um, I'm just I was gonna go for the wish in case he decided to roost that turn. And so now I'm gonna have to switch out, or I'm gonna have to struggle. And honestly, at that range of health, well, no, I'm burned, so a struggle would not be too effective. Anyway, so now George the Third, thinking that at that range of health. Um, you know, with the amount of damage that Toxic is doing, maybe a Skull will be able to KO. Um, so yeah, uh, Poison is racking up more and more. Actually, oh, right, I'm Regenerator stalling him. Yeah, this is the only time I have ever Regenerator stalled an opponent. Uh, just done all the switching just because, uh, you know, I would take less than a third switching in, and I would gain back more than a third uh, switching out. So anyway, he finally dies. Um, Dust Noir is now out, and he's going to go ahead and Shadow Sneak me. I go ahead and trick to get my Choice Scarf back. Now, you might think that's really strange, but I'm really worried about Kothagurgus, and I have no idea how I'm going to take it out. Unfortunately, he gets the freaking crit, and Hitachikoma is down to 18 HP, and I don't think that's enough HP to switch into a Stealth Rock. So I'm like, crap! That totally torpedoes my whole strategy. What am I going to do? That crit was seriously, seriously important. Anyway, I do Toxic this Dust Noir. He's going to go ahead and Pain Split here. Um, and that's going to be annoying, but you know, uh, if Pain Split's the worst I have to worry about, that's really not a big deal. I just have to Heal Bell at some point. And it's all going to be good. Now, I completely wall this Kafagrius. He can't do anything to me as long as I still have uh, heal bells, I guess. And even if I didn't, I think even if I ran out of heal bells, I do have the um, the wish, and so I could just wish off when my uh, damage got too low. He has nothing, no moves to hit me with. Anyway, I switch out into Hadarak here. I'm down to 19 HP. He goes ahead and hexes. It is enough to KO, and that's rather unfortunate. I was hoping to be able to uh, wish recover back, but it doesn't work out that way. I said maybe back out. Uh, I go ahead and Toxic it just to put that thing on a clock and make him rest at some point. I'm going to go ahead and... If, this is why this battle is so long. This freaking Kothagrigus. Uh, it is so freaking annoying. Um, I'm already burned. Uh, I'm not going to heal Bill right away. There's really no point to it. I don't want to waste my heal bells too early. Excuse me. Here I heal bell. He goes for the rest, uh, and he's just going to gain back all of his health. And it's going to give me an interesting opportunity if I switch out. You know, I, I don't think he has a sleep talk, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, wish here, send out someone else, and that someone else will hopefully be able to do enough damage to this Coppergrius that I will be able to KO. Anyway, yeah, Intimidate, whatever that's worth. Um, I do recover back up to, up to 245, and so that's nice. Uh, I love maybe. I go ahead and set up another round of spikes. Um, I think that might be two at this point. Might be three. I lost count. Oh, well. Maybe he's back out. Uh, gonna take the Will-O-Wisp, and that's fine by me. Uh, again, I can wall this guy for days. He's, there's nothing he can do to me. And there's really nothing Dust Noir can do to me either other than Pain Split. And, you know, if I just keep my wishes going and I use Protect at the right time, I don't have to worry about that either. So, um, yeah, gonna go ahead and Heal Bell here because Residual Damage is really not a good thing to have when your opponent is Pain Splitting you and has their HP going lower and lower each turn. I'm back up to full HP here. And uh, I think I'm going to protect... No, I go for the Wish. Interesting. Uh, his will of us misses. Uh, I was glad he didn't Pain Split. He's taking more and more damage. Here I protect, uh, protecting him to go for the Pain Split. Instead, he went for the Shadow Sneak. Um, man, I really should have just left the Scarf on that thing. Oh, well. Anyway, switch out Tachikoma here. 
Uh, so the King Split would fail because Tachikoma would faint. Uh, lifted, you know, it's good that I was there for Death Thunder, I guess. Uh, and here I will be able to go for the Protect and have Dust Noir die to its toxic poison. So that's great. And my opponent is going to be down to only Cothocrigus. And now the question is, how long is my opponent going to put us through this? Because there's nothing Cothocrigus can do to my maybe. And so, uh, you know, it's going to go down to a PB stall. And so I'm just really hoping that my opponent runs or decides to, you know, stop resting and, like, protect or something, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Uh, my opponent is fighting down to the down to the wire, down to the nail, uh, down to the nail? I'm not sure if that's the right uh, phrase. Anyway, uh, wish, uh, George III is back up to full HP thanks to a wish. I'm going to go ahead and scald it just to get some damage off on it. He goes ahead and goes for the hex here. Uh, that's really okay. I, I'm not burned or anything yet, and he's not going for the uh, will o wisp quite yet. I'm not exactly sure why. Here he goes for the hex again. I go for the skull, just hoping to get the burn hex or a crit. You know, a crit might be nice too. Um, he's now down to low enough HP. So here he goes for the uh, the will o wisp, and also I go for the skull. He does not uh, get a crit. He does not get burned, and so he's going to survive with a tr uh, sliver of HP. He's going to go for the rest, gain back all of that health. And I'm just going to keep myself in until Cothogrigus wakes up and I really do have to switch out. I mean, I do have the slack off on this thing, but I just don't want to be uh, fooling around with those um, you know, boosted hexes. Here I get a crit, and it's amazing, because it's going to cut this battle's length in, like, a quarter. And, uh, yeah, so George III is going to go ahead and scald, and I'm going to take him out, and that is the end of the battle. So comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.